Hey hello, welcome to the another topic. All of us know that Google Drive is one of most familiar option, like Apple iCloud or Windows on Drive, to back up the files or folders in online. It will be able to use anywhere and anytime, with internet access. As a Google account holder you can get up to 15 GB free space from the Google Drive. A browser or application will allow you to enter Google Drive. If you are an Android guy, the option has already been available in the Google app setup. But on the PC a browser is used to access the Google Drive. So, here I will show you, how to use Google Drive on Windows 10 computer without access the browser. First you need to download the driver setup file from the Google Drive, it will help to install the drive on your computer. Now here you will see the two options, one for the personal and other one for business. You can click on the personal backup and sync. About the business option I will mention in my next video. So now choose personal and click download. OK, now you need to enter the Google account information. I personally want to sync my common email account, which I using on my phone because it's helped to get files from the PC to phone. Now, here is the settings, which you can manage the files, folders and the drive accessing and sharing options. First one is, choose folders to continuously back up to Google Drive. This selected folders will be back up to the Google Drive, when you are online. As you can see here, some of the default folders are given, but you can customize the folders as you wish by clicking the Choose Folder selection. Also another option is File Type, which is the configuration of the type of the file that want to copied from the folder. You can choose all file type or else avoid the screenshots and raw files from the list, because these type of large files will be reduce the drive space. And also on the advanced settings, you will be able to ignore the file type by entering its extension details. For example, .exe file. I will show you the way to find the extension details of the file. Right click on a specific file, and open the properties, and look here is the detail. Ok now Google Photos, by checking the box, the photos and the videos will be available on the Google Photo tool. I personally don't want to enable this, however, there is an option for controlling the Google Photo. Click on the Photo Settings. Then, once enter the Google Photo Settings you can configure the setup as you wish. Finally Network Settings, here you can configure the proxy and bandwidth setup if you needed. By the by the settings almost done, and your selected folders will be synced. And, if you want to change the settings, simply right click on the three dots, and select the preferences. And last thing is, don't forget to disable the application when the computer launch. Because it will affect the computer performance. To disable the application, go to Task Manager. On Startup tab you will be able to disable it. That's it for now, see you soon.